Good morning, everyone. I know it's early, but I am at a wedding that I dropped some stuff off last night, and it was so gorgeous, I wanted to bring you a video of it. We are right across the street from Wadley Farms. There's the castle in the background. This is an Airbnb in Linden, Utah, directly across the street from Linden, Utah, from Wadley Farms. These people rented decor for me for $3.95, and this is what they've done. By the way, this is an incredible Airbnb. It ran about $500 a night, is my understanding. Sleeps 18 people. It's not entirely set up, but you're going to be able to see enough of it. So here is our Welcome to Our Beginning sign. This has been really popular this year because of the fact that many of the brides have eloped earlier in the year and are saving the celebration for later. So they kind of feel like it's Welcome to Our Beginning instead of Wedding. Um, they've still got some setting up to do. You see some buckets and tubs and stuff. This box is my chocolate fountain. We include a specialty food display in every wedding, and they have opted for our big commercial fountain. This thing is like three feet tall and wonderful to use. This gazebo was actually part of this backyard. This is not one of my backdrops, but we included this beautiful blush fabric. Blush fabric has been hard to find. I find a lot of blush is more apricot than it should be. We're going to get close to this. Is that just a beautiful blush? And then just the simple word love on it. And those are our white wisteria flowers that she draped over it as well. Just to kind of give this a pop and look so pretty. It's the first thing you see when you come in the yard. This isn't even what they're getting married under. It's just a piece that they're going to use. I think they're putting the wedding cake under here is what they're going to do. She wants to do a lot of roses. And so she's got roses sitting here in all these beautiful colors waiting to put out. She's using a lot of them for um, just rose petals. Here is our Barnwood Love Letters. These have lights in them. Of course, they're not turned on this early in the morning. But this is our big four-foot-tall love marquee letters. And people love these. Then we come over here. And they're using my bench for their gifts. I love using unusual pieces for gift tables because they just kind of get covered with all these wonderful gifts you get. And these benches are fun. That is one of our florals. Now I want to show you a close-up of this. Carol Clark Kingston does a lot of my florals for me. I literally took her over two totes of miscellaneous flowers and she made me these beautiful sprays. This is one of them. You're going to see more in a minute. Here is one of our memory signs in loving memory of those who are forever present in our hearts. A lot of weddings use memory signs. We have another set of our love marquee letters. This set's only about 10 inches tall, I believe. This is where they're going to set up the sign-in. Is on this table, so they've added the memory table, the sign-in, because this is one of our big barrel tables, as you can see. Then here is one of my bird cages. This is a standing bird cage. This is about four feet tall and just fun to put um, cards in. I don't know why the sign our guest book is in there. I think they've just put it in there so it doesn't get knocked over in the night. Then the back of that display they hung one of our wreaths. Again that wreath is one of ours and then we've got the wisteria flowers on it. And here's what they did for their tables. All of these items are from our decor. She took some of our greenery and she did pay extra for um, an additional 60 feet of greenery that used one of our cute little terrariums, put one of our faux succulents in it. This one she added the white wisteria flowers that are ours. Here is our Some of our pink flowers again. A 
But these, she's got her tables already set up to, for her guests so that they can transition this or move their chairs over after the ceremony. This is one of our doors that she's hung, that she's just got leaning against the tree. She's going to add pictures to it today. She added a Mr. and Mrs. sign to it. And over here is our ceremony site. She's, um, the tables and chairs and linens are all from Rent Event Utah, a vendor I've dealt with for over six years now. And let's go see this backdrop. She wanted more romantic with lace and everything. This is our big beam backdrop we call it our traditional arch. It's made out of four by sixes. This thing is solid and heavy and just is wonderful to decorate. Again, these florals are from Carol Clark Kingston with Creative Wedding Events. And we had these and the bride just added them on, just laced them to it. And what great color and variety and everything that's in there. But this whole package that they did was $3.95. They did pay $60 extra for an additional case of greenery. We include, as a bonus item, 60 feet of greenery, but she wanted extra with the love marquees and everything that she did. But this is going to be a fun, beautiful wedding today. And um, look, you can even see Wadley in the background. Say hi, Wadley. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm going to go home. I've got appointments with brides all day today. And oh, I should show you one more thing. So this backyard, <laughs> it's got a tree house for the pirates during the wedding. So I always say that people forget about kids during the wedding and kids just want to play with their, with their cousins. So this is a great backyard. It's huge. I didn't realize how big it was until I walked back here. Have a great day. This is Kathy with Utah DIY Wedding. Thank you.